and it's simply a text file called robot.txt. Okay, or robots.txt. All you do is you put this code in here, and these lines of code will tell you what needs to be skipped. Okay, so we put disallow, and then we put the path to the directory in there. Okay, so simply loading this up to our public HTML directory or htdocs or wherever your websites go so they can be viewed on the web. The search engines will look for robots.txt first and then it will go and look through here and see what it is to disallow and it will skip all those during the crawling of your site. Okay, so all you do is you put all of the places that you want skipped from the search engines in here. So you can just copy. Now I've included this file for you, so all you have to do is change it to read how you want, okay? So if we had a download directory, okay, so that would protect everything in a download directory. Now, if you have a subdirectory you wanted protected, but not particularly the root directory, say we had um, videos and video downloads, Okay, so what this will do is will disallow the video downloads directory from being actually scanned by the search engines, but it will allow it to scan the videos directory. So if you had your sales pages and videos and you had your download pages and video downloads, you're safe that way because the search engines are going to skip video downloads. This also works for Alexa, so Alexa will skip it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this and I'm going to show you what we do now. Let's open up an FTP client and I like to use FileZilla, it's free. 